Hi guys, Charlie Tango One coming at you with <laughs> another video. This now this video, this is not the start of my my uh, life's history. This is uh, an unboxing. Now this unboxing is from on behalf of Bill and Terry because they don't do videos and that sort of stuff like you know. Um, so. I've done his last unboxing for him. He sends me over a load of photos, like, and I just put it together and um, make a little um, video of it for him. But it's nice to know that way he knows that, that I've received his photos. So, right, without further ado, we, we get going on it. So, this is the first. This is the first one I come up with. This little bit here. Ooh. I'll leave it there for a second so that you can read it, or you can pause your your um, YouTube thing and, and read it that way. There you go. That's that one. Um, it was so good they do it. Now this is uh, this is from Terry. I, I, I always take a photo of the box etc that in the back that's what he's he ordered from me last time i think it was and there's, there's something else there as well so that's his uh that's the second one oh there we go stick together like you know right, that one that's a bit clearer you can see a couple of items there that he purchased from me uh earlier Nice little knife that, I like that. Nice little knife. There we go, that's that one. Um, I assume these are all, all Terry's bits and bobs like, because as I said, I send so many bits, I forget what I've sent who and, I've, and what. <laughs> so you'll have to, you know, forgive me on that one. Like, you know, when you do it all the time, you think now, where's Terry living and where's Bill living and where's this living and where's he live? You just, you know, woof, over the head it goes. I think he's not thinking of, uh, here's another one, I think he's thinking of going camping in the wardrobe. <laughs> there you go, I think that also he's got a possible pouch there and something else, hasn't he? Oh yeah, a sporran and a little um, air toy tin, um, leather um, pouch. There's the next one, it's, I think it's just Terry's little, little box in the background, so these might be bills, I don't know, they might be bill. Might be yours that bill these these ones that I'm showing. What we've got on here is possible pouch. That I think is bills and, and a spotted. I'm trying to keep my Mui uh, out of the picture. Mui, face, boat race, face. Slang, London slang, boat race. And the next one is, oh, I don't know who I sent that to, isn't it terrible? Look. I just tucked a little pouch in there that I had made and and as you know, it's supposed to be good luck to put a penny in there, so he's he's put the penny on the top of the little uh, money pouch there, like, you know, so it's to wish him good luck, all of you good luck, really. And uh, as I say, this is not going to be a long video. Because um, I'm off down tonight late, I'm off down to Cornwall, which is about a six or seven hour journey. Uh, I'm going down to my friend Chris Upton, he's a dog trainer, been doing it over 30 years. I've mentioned him before on here. Um, my view is he's a nice guy. Um, and he's offered me to go down there on more than one occasion, and I decided, yeah, I'll. He says, come on down Ray, love to see you, because I, I sell him quite a bit of leather stuff, you know, his leads and, and all that sort of stuff, and he said, uh, uh, I'm not going to rub it on long, um, yeah, come on down Ray, he said, I've got, I've got a, uh, a big caravan there now, so, you you know, there's no problem for you stopping over, so I'm going to go late tonight, take my dog here, I'll bring your dog with you, I'll bring, oh, yeah, I'll bring my dog with me, and um, we'll go out on his ground, because he's got quite a lot of ground all around him, and we go out there and do a bit of training and uh, 
you know, tell a few stories and have a laugh and this, that and the other. So I won't be around at the weekend. This is now Friday night, um, four o'clock in the afternoon on the 4th, is it? 5th? Yeah, 5th. 5th of May. Here's another one he's got with his other bits and, and I see he's got one of those little nano stoves in here. Look, I've got one of those little nano stoves. They are brilliant little things, they are. You put your little meth burner in there, your, your Trangia, you know, stove. You can put them in there. Um, and that's what those two little, I don't know if you saw them. You see them two little lugs there? That little, you get one that goes in one side and one goes in the other. Um, across the corners they go. And you just drop your Trangia in there. And it's just the right height, what they call the, the magic inch or something, from the bottom of the pot. And um, br brilliant, brilliant little things like because I cook with, as I told you, I cook with um, meths and, and gas. I don't, it too messy, it messes up all the gear too much right on the open fire. Oh, yes, I sent him these as well. He's chucked some stuff at the back there. Um, one's an alkyd tin, alkyd tin, and the other one is forage pouch. So, let's bring them up close so you can see them. <sighs> well, uh, I hope you have as much fun with them as I did making them, mate. That's all I can say. Oh yes, and that's that's the uh, that's the forage pouch that open like you know it's a a wax canvas um, cotton. It's Egyptian cotton. It's heavy heavy gear stuff like you know. So um, it's. Uh, it's really, it's what, um, there's a company, and I've mentioned this before, called Barber Waxware. Barber. B-A-R-B-O-U-R, I think it is. Um, and they make wax coats, wax leggings, all sorts of stuff. And um, I, bought, I bought a small roll of it. It's six foot wide, and I don't know how many metres I bought on it anyway. I made me leggings, and... Um, I'm just using using that up. Well, I thought I'd use it up for, for those possible those uh, forage pouches, but I've oh, got rakes left. You, oh, it looks like I ain't touched it. Oh, here's another one there. That one, and oh, uh, glad old good good nest cat nest cafe get around, don't they? Look, nice to see. So, um, I, I think these are, these are between the pair of them, right? So. Um, Confused.com comes into it. I don't know who's is who's. <laughs> that's a nice one. I think that's them all put together. I think they just bunged them all together and decided to um, take a photo of them. So that's, uh, as I say, that's just. I do like making these sporans. They're, they're nice. And I, I can make them in all, all sort of. Um, styles you know um i can put piping in there if i want to but um i did make one and um but as i said before on a video which i've actually deleted i believe it's um uh, i wasn't that keen on it when i finished it so you know i thought well, i'm not going to be doing them Oh, here's another one from him. Look, he's, they put a lot of them up there now. Look, put put all, all of them up there. That's a, just a, a different long style possible's pouch. That's all that is. What else have I got there? Oh yeah, I've got the forage alkyd tin single one at the back there. I believe that's a double. I'm not sure. The, the one right at the back, that one. I think that's a double altoids altoids tin. Um, the forage pouch and uh, the spotten. So there you go. I do the spotten's in in di different colours. I've got some dark Havana, um, light Havana, military. What else have I got? Some and the black. And it's all done in grade leather. That you know, um, as as I told you before. He's taken quite a few photos this time. Look and oh, there you go. These these are the tins. And he's going to laugh at this now. Look. Now you tell me what they are. Go on, tell me what they are, Terry. 
Hey, they're stags, mate. Stag, S T A G. Stag. Come from Scotland. <laughs> Not Essex. <laughs> I gotta get that one in, and I. <laughs> I got them to an up, so I thought. Well, why not chuck them in the uh, pouches? That's what they're for. They're flint, they're flint and steel pouches, really. You know, that's what I think a lot of us use them for. Um, got, oh, I've got a little. Um, I think they've got storm storm lamp. That that's a storm lamp. That top one. I think that's what it is. And then he's got his other little pouches there, like you know. So, but uh, lovely, lovely little pictures. Over there, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this like before I shoot off down to Cornwall tonight. As I say, it's about six or seven hour run, so and it's a long way down. If you know Heathrow Airport, well, it's well past that. I'm going to Wellsea, isn't it? And past there, and here's the two old codgers together. There, look, look, there they are, Terry and Bill. You know who's who. We know this is Bill, this is Terry. So there you go chaps, all done, I know that's a little, no it's not your camera, it's a little bit blurred, so don't worry about it in, in case it makes your eyes water, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little video, Bill, Terry, um, as I say it's, uh, it's the only way, you've really got to get with the times mate and knock yourself a video, like just sit in front of your camera. And just wrap it on like, like I do. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever comes to mind. Like you know, it's you, you don't have to revert, rehearse it. Just you know, hello guys and dolls and girls and whatever. You know, um, don't try to be perfect. Everyone, there's too many people out there trying to be perfect. Oh, it's got to be right. We've got to do this. If you want to play around with it and make it look nice and fade here and fade there and get these fucking lovely colours come up and writing and scrolling and fine. A lot of people they enjoy that, you know, but um, I don't want really to get that much in depth with it. So um, this sort of thing, basic sort of videoing, does me, and I'm quite happy with that. So without further ado, I'm going to bid you lot farewell, and I'll catch you on the next one, which may be because I've been uh, I've been doing other things, getting a bit busy. So um, on, on what I, on what I'm trying to do over this history thing. So. Um, I'll catch you all on the next one. <laughs> Cheerio.